So Charity Water is a nonprofit organization, and we bring clean and safe drinking water to some of the poorest people in the world. Uh, we currently work in 14 countries, 10 countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, and then also India, Bangladesh, and then Haiti and Honduras. Well, I started a charity like most people do. I came out of uh, nightclub promoting, <laughs> selling $16 cocktails and $300 bottles of vodka to bankers and uh, models. And, uh, at 28, I uh, just really uh, realized what a mess my life had become. And uh, you know, I, for 10 years, I hadn't done anything for anyone else. I mean, it was all about me. And I uh, really came back to my faith as a kid, but in a different way as an adult. So, uh, so I dedicated um, one year of my life to serve God and the poor. Uh, and I wanted to go to the poorest country in the world. And that led me to Liberia, West Africa. I was on a hospital ship, so I was teamed up with uh, volunteer surgeons and doctors and dentists and they were operating and providing free medical care to some of the poorest people in the world. I volunteered there as a photojournalist, which was interesting because I wasn't actually a photographer, but I thought this would be a great way to connect the thousands of people that I knew in New York through this decade of nightlife to some of the work being done. So I volunteered for two years uh, with the ship and then came back here and started Charity Water. I picked water because all of the needs that I'd seen in Africa, um, you know, so much of this disease and lack of education, like so many things tied directly to water. Uh, in fact, 80% of all disease in the world is related to water, uh, lack of clean water and sanitation. So it, it was the right issue, but you know, a real challenge just uh, getting people to believe in you in the beginning. There was a lot of hustling, showing people pictures, telling them the vision, and then asking them for help. I don't know, maybe five, 600 people have turned out from a bunch of the villages. They heard we were coming. Now we've got about 800 students marching out. The school doesn't have any water. This village doesn't have any water. The next village doesn't have any water. That village doesn't have any water. Um, there's probably about a thousand people that have gathered. I didn't have any sort of nonprofit management experience, um, but I was good at getting a lot of people excited. Now in the past decade, I've been getting them excited about drinking and you know escaping reality, I guess you could say. So, uh, so I thought I could get them excited about, uh, about serving and about helping the poor. We started using technology from day one to prove where the money was going. So we said that everything that Charity Water does will be proved with a photo, proved with a GPS coordinate, and then posted publicly on Google Earth. So you know, it was really big on transparency, that we'd be able to show people exactly where their money went. The model of giving 100% answered a lot, of, uh, a lot of questions. I think a lot of the reasons people weren't giving to charities is because they didn't know how much money would actually go. Our first event was actually day one of Charity Water. In a nightclub, 700 people came, donated $20, and you know, not a lot of money, I think we raised 15,000. But we took the $15,000 to Northern Uganda, and we built three wells, and we fixed three wells. And then we took the pictures immediately of those six wells and sent them to every single person that attended the party. So, you know, imagine coming to a party and, you know, some of the people didn't even remember attending the party. But, you know, you give $20 and then a couple months later you see what your $20 actually did and the lives that it impacted. I think the idea of water is simple enough that almost everyone can get behind it. Met Andrew Rosen at Theory, and uh, he really liked the idea of bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in Ethiopia, and said, well, hey, what we do at Theory, we make clothes. So why don't we make a line of clothing, water clothing, and give away all the money? And they did, and they raised $85,000 just like that. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue uh, did the same thing. So they started selling just these $5 um, bracelets in 100 of their stores. And then they went to their vendors and they said, hey, Saks is building wells, why don't you build wells? And Dior and Hermes and Tom Ford and all of these uh, designers said, you know, we'd love to sponsor a freshwater well in Africa. So uh, I think um, eight weeks later, you know, we had $570,000. So we were, we were off and running immediately. Um, the ball just sort of started rolling and uh, we were <laughs> just trying to keep up with it in many ways. Thank <laughs> you.